So we're here in Sunnah Prime Mac, and today I've got the Dyson DC65 Animal Complete Vacuum. Finally arrived in the mail. So this is the Animal Complete version. So there's this fuchsia color. The technical free turbine tool. And soft dusting brush. The stiffle bristle brush. Multi-angle and uh, absorb powder for your carpet. Has 160 air watt, more than any other com competing vacuum brands. Has the radio root cyclone technology. And over at the side, you've got the air multiplier technology. And there's that radio root cyclone air blade and the motor V4. And we give you a five year warranty for this machine. And this machine is able to stretch for great heights. And it's this part is made out of polycarbonate, so it's very, very um, stiff, I guess. And it's bagless, like all the others. Asthma, allergy friendly. It rolls on a dime. There's the ball technology, shows you how to build it. There's 12, 12 cyclones. And I'll just go over this when I unbox it. And the cleaner head, which is a big part, I guess. It was brought over from the DC-41. box opened first so once you open it you're greeted with a lot of stuff pull this back first you have this bag for all the extra tools so there's this zip zipper part. I don't know what this is for. But it's an insert. And there's a bunch of pockets in here. A piece of paper. And just a, a bag with a net sort of mesh. And you can just hang this on anywhere you want. Okay, next item. Powder, maintenance powder. I'm not sure if they give you that tool so you can push it into the carpet. That's pretty cool. And then, this is the tool. This flap. There's the wand. Extendable wand. Here's the turbine tool. This is the... I don't even know what that is. That There's the tools that go attached onto the vacuum itself. Let's take out the vacuum. Let's set this down. not 
too heavy. Here's all the electric cables. There's the cleaner head. Another tool, another tool, and that's pretty much it. So I put the box to the side. Take a look at all the items first. Let's set the camera down somewhere. I use one of the tools. I use this cardboard right here. I don't have a tripod because I can't afford one. Okay, there we go. So let's take a look at the tripod tool. Got these flaps. It's wrapped in this plastic. There's a turbine tool. It has this cardboard taped taped onto it. Guess we can take that out. That was just to block it from moving. You can see it just so let's take a closer look you can switch this onto the wand or onto the hose itself and these are counter rotating or well, one of them is counter rotating it's depends on how you look at it and they will not tangle so that's pretty cool and you can see this a lot of gears and I'm not sure what this is this is to get let, probably let the air out you can see the mesh not sure what that is set that aside in here I have another tool This is the soft bristle brush. It feels pretty soft. There's like this fiber microfiber lining. And these are the iron for the suction. You just plug that into the wand. Looks like this is gonna stretch very easily. So I don't know. Here's the second tool, third tool. It's not a tool, it's a handle for the vacuum itself. So this is a vacuum handle. And I guess I guess they gotta fill this up. So it's like a clean piece of plastic. And these could have been shaven off. There's no reason for these to be here. There really isn't. It says you can register for a five year warranty. Set that side right there. Clear away all that. And let's check out this. It's the third tool. This is the this is the tool you can adjust. I'm not sure what it's called. It's called the it's called the multi-angle brush. So you can twist this. Twist this 
and you can just clean on the top of your fans or or any of the drawers that are too tall for reach. Same thing, it's soft bristle brush with those microfiber lining. That's pretty cool. And here's the wand. And I think it started from the DC41. They don't, the wand, the handle doesn't reach, extend out with the wand, so many people didn't like that. I wish it was with it, but that doesn't matter. So it snaps into place, I think. This is for your cord. Seems like it's a longer cord than my old DC25. Put that aside. Got another tool here. The fourth tool. This is the stiff bristle brush. It's pretty stiff. It's for remo removing hard hardened dirt on your floor. So that's pretty cool. This is the powder like I showed before. Sprinkle it onto your carpet. It doesn't come with that tool like okay, sorry about that my um camera ran out of my phone ran out of space so I had to delete something in order for it to keep recording. So here's the Zorb maintenance powder. I'm pretty sure this is wet because it says wait 30 minutes or until dry. So I don't have that room thing. It doesn't come with it unless you buy this the cleaning kit on the website. And you just vacuum that up. It's basically tiny sponges that absorb your carpet, um, all the dirt and stuff. It's, I guess that's okay. Set that away. And these are the tools that can be attached onto the vacuum itself. Let's cut this open. There's the attachment. There's the upholstery tool. There's the crevice tool. And what's different from the one in the DC25 is that these brushes are pointed outwards. Not the ones before pointed directly vertically down. So I think this is better. So if you need to, then you can just snap this on. Yeah, brush, it's very soft. Sit that right there. And here's the cleaner head. There's the cleaner head. Pop these open. Hefty. So it says, I think this is, it's a piece of tape right here, so I can peel this off, I'll peel it later. It says increase brush bar power, increased it by 25% like it says here. And it doesn't seem like this is a sticker, nor is this, these two are not stickers, but this is. It says Dyson over on the side. And then over here, we have a clip, a red clip that you can take off. So you can clip onto the vacuum. There we go. And then we have this connector for the 
for the power and all the suction is created over here well it's not a suction it's the motor that drives the brush part to to a uh, spin and we have this thing called a self-adjusting cleaner head there's this accordion and once it moves to a different surface automatically adjust to seal and suction so it won't lose any suction and there there are springs inside that makes this work so once you reach into the carpet uh, this thing will just automatically push in and the bristle bars will will um, drive into the carpet so to clean it and there's these knobs here so you can turn them both of them to open it'll open something so you can take the brush bar out I don't know how to open it yet so you have to click it and this thing will just pop out so you can take out this bar Actually, you can't take it out unlike the old ones. You can just pop that part out, so you can just take out all the hair and stuff. If you really want to take this out, you gotta unscrew, unscrew them to take it out. So yeah, okay, that's the first one. Self-adjusting. It's really neat, so you don't have all those knobs to turn on the other vacuums. Just a push of a button. There's the brush bar. Set that aside. Get to the vacuum. The unit itself. Here it is. It's the nice fuchsia color. Oh! Let's see if it's on again. Gotta do this quick. I don't want to run out of space again. So here's the outlet, the wall adapter I mean, and there's this part so it can bend without breaking or snapping the wire. And here's the clip so it'll clip on to the, the wind up wires. Here's a band-aid, just snapped it off, a rubber band I mean. Ah! Here's a guide and a warranty. We don't need that. And here's the bin. You click on this button and it'll come out. So we move this foam packaging. You see this really nice shade. It's plastic, but it's this metalized finish. And this is a sticker, so you can remove it easily quite dusty on the bottom from the factory I guess and you should wash the filters every three months so you can pop this open just lift it pop it open and here's the filter you can rinse it with water and you can twist it there's more surface area this time so it will absorb more it will filter out more dust. So on the back, you can release with one button to push out all the dust. Like, like that. And once you do, it will it'll reveal this button right here. Before it was like this. It will reveal the button right here. So you can push onto that. To release the bin. Push it on. That should release the bin. This is a really hard polycarbonate bin. And once you do that, you'll see this cyclone. Cyclone right here. With this sort of mesh. This mesh will prevent like 
dust from getting clogged. So it's, it's, a, it's a pretty nice, nice feel to it. So what what happens is, let me open this. So what happens is, air draws into this vacuum, goes up over here into this hole, as you can see, touches into the filter because the filter filter will filter out all the allergens and stuff and once the ones that pass do pass they go into this these 12 cyclones let me get you a closer look again okay, it'll get into the cyclones into these holes into these slots which will go through this centripetal force it just matters which perspective you are in they call it the centrifugal force. It will spin the dust onto the outside, downwards, downwards, and back into the bin, which is shown here. After it goes into the bin, it will be right at this part. And there's a suction or suction cup right here to seal in all that dust so it won't fly around and like the bigger pieces around. And the bad thing about this plastic is, you can see the scratch marks from the factory. It scratches really easily. So let's put that all back together. Snapped. Push that back on. Put the filter back in. And there we go. There's this sort of dome dome design on the top. It says filter. So we can go ahead and attach that back onto the vacuum. Snap into place. And you can put on the wand. You can attach the wand right here. And out of space again. Sorry about that. So I deleted a bunch of apps just to make this video. So I can just go ahead and cut this off. Cut that off. And let's attach the cleaning head. I should set the camera on the bottom. Attach the cleaning head onto here. So we got to connect onto the After you got that, I don't think you guys saw anything, any of that. So once you got it right there, get that clip from before and clip it on. Get that clip, clip it back on. So, um, I imported my videos from my phone to make up the space. It's been a few cuts into this, into this video, and like I said before, I, in, I was able to attach this. The reason why was because the reason because I couldn't attach it was because I had this reversed, which made this plastic click click um click onto here, which made it bounce back. And in the instructions, it says you don't have to take this take this off to put this in but it's much easier to insert this first and then clip this on as it is to take it out so the video has been a big bit shaky all the way and I hope it's not this this time round so we can pull this up now 
This is a full size vacuum. <coughs> oh crap. I need a vacuum. Okay, let's insert the wand. In to the hose. I'll turn it around so you can see the hose. Here's the hose. And it extends pretty far. So it's an accordion. It's kind of kind of hose. Once you extend it, it'll extend even more. It breaks it out. And you can attach the tools onto here instead of the wand. For example, the turbine tool. You can attach it right here. So you have more movement. Like that. And you see that there's a lot of flexing. And once you're done, you just press the wet red button to release. So we have this wand here. And these buttons match, so you just slide it right down. like so to finally got it to work so. and we can just go ahead and wind up the cord first okay so I winded up the cord and you can snap that on and there's just one more before this thing is complete and that is to attach this this on so there's a slot right here pairs up with this slot on the side so I guess we just slide it down Bin, slide that down. It should have a tiny little click. It's unperceivable, but there it is. This is plastic, plastic covering. So, so you can turn that and see, and that will allow the suction from the hose instead, instead of this, this vacuum which comes up from here. You can put this back in. So the air draws from there into this slot, it sucks into the vacuum, up, up into here, to into the cyclone, where it can clean. So that was the first filter in, inside over there, here's the second filter. And let, before we do that, let's put this on. So I think we just snap it on. Snap it on, and here's the second one. Just snap it on too. There's this little, there's this little clip part that goes onto there. We just clip onto it, and there we go. So I'll just set this down just to show you the the second filter. Remove all the tools from. Set it down right there, and we just turn this. Okay, once you cut it loose, you lift that out, and here's the filter. You can see a bunch of these accordions. And I'm pretty sure you twist this. Yeah, you twist it to take it out like that and you line it up back and you just wash this this filter it will filter out the air 
before it gets released back into the environment. So it shows you how to wash this, dry it for 24 hours, put this back on, put it back into place. There we go. So in, inside you can see this this hose from the vacuum. Let me just put this back on. So once you hear those few clicks, it means it's done. You shouldn't, you shouldn't turn it anymore. There we go. And unlike the other vacuums, these don't have that push thing where you go down with your foot. Push it right here to release. And instead, you just push the vacuum down with your hand on the handle. So I have my hand right here. You just push down. To lift up the wheel and turn. Like that you can hear the bristles penetrating the carpet. And there's that there's that uh, ball technology. And I'll just turn with the wrist. Really easy to turn. And I'll just roll with the wheel. So and then th here's the flaw. So once you push, once you're done vacuuming, you push it up. Let me focus right there. Once you push it up, some people can't push it all the way, so it'll just fall right back down on the floor. You gotta push it a bit harder with more force until you hear that tiny click right there, and it should just stand right there. So here's all the extra tools. Bristle bar, angle bars, bunch of bars. And there's my new DC65 Animal Complete vacuum unboxing and review. I hope it's a good review. Before I finish, I just want to let you guys know that I peeled most of the stickers, like all of them, except this one, because I want to keep the name. So it's really clean. Fill up all those stickers that says filter and the ones in the back that says three uh, washer filter every three months. And the ones on on the back. There's the one on right here that says warning. So every sticker is removable. You just have to remove it slowly. And if there is adhesive or residue, that stays on, then you just use the same sticker and stick onto it many times and it'll just come off. So, I've used it. It's, the suction is really strong and if you're not used to it, it's kind of hard to vacuum the hardwood or tiles because it sucks onto it like, like what, an octopus. So it's really, it's a little bit hard to turn but overall it's really, really powerful. And the frequency of the vacuum is much lower than expected, so that's really good. It's uh, lower than the DC25, in my opinion. And we have two buttons right here, I forgot to explain before. This is the power button, of course. And this is the one to stop the uh, brush bar from spinning, so you can Vacuum the hardwood, tile, or any other floor besides carpet that stops it from spinning by clicking on it. And I found out the reason why I didn't didn't uh, seal this off is because once you have this in upright position, the suction automatically starts sucking from here. So if you have it in upright, plug it in and turn it on, it'll automatically start suck. You feel a like suction right here. I don't know why that is. This doesn't happen in the old, old back in the DC25. I guess they changed it, but not a big deal. So there's my DC65 Animal Complete review. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.